Hi guys, Suella Braveman it seems has lost her marbles. In this clip from the House of Commons on Monday, she engaged in a bit of subjudice. This is where a case is under judicial consideration and cannot be discussed publicly. Now this was so egregious that even the chocolate teapot, the Speaker of the House of Commons, was taken aback and demanded that she withdraw the claim. Now Braveman was responding to a question about safe and legal routes. This was raised by a Labour MP who accused the Home Secretary of scapegoating asylum seekers. Have a listen. May I take this chance, Mr Speaker, to invite her to apologise to the nation. The Honourable Lady campaigned in 2020 to stop this government from deporting a serious foreign criminal. Thanks to her efforts, together with 70 opposition Labour MPs, they subsequently stopped this government from removing Ernesto Elliott who then went on to murder in the UK. Mr Speaker, will... Order, order. The Home Secretary should know better. This is subjudice. Well, uh, he's appealed his sentence. And I don't think I need any lectures from the front bench either. I look forward to an apology. I, am I going to get an apology? Thank you. Home Secretary, will you take the advice that I've been given? I know you don't like it, but I'm only working on the facts of the case. Home Secretary. Well, I will just still say that uh, it is outrageous what Labour MPs have done, and I encourage them to apologise. <sighs> Can you imagine this woman used to be the Attorney General? Now, the Attorney General's job is to provide information, advice to the government on whether something is lawful or unlawful. How do you become, this is a question for people to answer, how do you become a Tory minister or secretary of state? Is it like you collect coupons and then you stamp a card and then, you're, then you become a minister or secretary of state? You don't actually need any sort of competence. You don't need any ability. It's the opposite of a meritocracy. Really, do they find the dumbest people ever and say, we're going to make you a minister? We're going to make you a secretary of state? Because it seems to be like that. Now, other points raised here, the idea that the MPs, the Labour MPs, stopped somebody from being deported. Um, the Conservatives have a majority a 70 or 80 seat majority. It's less than 80 seats now, but it's about 70 seats. They have a, they have a clear majority. And somehow the Labour Party were, aver, were able to override that majority and stop somebody from being deported. But then it's not the Labour Party or lefty lawyers or people on Twitter or the metropolitan liberal elite or the tofu eaters or anything like that who actually stop people from de being deported. Do you, do you know who stops people from being deported? Judges do. Not lawyers, not people on Twitter, not Gary Lineker or anyone like that. It's the judges. Now, either Tory MPs don't understand that or they're pretending not to understand that. Maybe Suella Braveman doesn't understand that because I'm not sure she actually qualified as a lawyer. Maybe it was an honorary degree. But most MPs who are lawyers understand, because if I understand that, <laughs> that it's a, a judge that makes the final decision, um, then they should know it as well. I'm pretty sure they do. So they're pretending not to know. It's easier, it's more, it's politically expedient to point the finger at the opposition or lefty lawyers or the Wokarati or the uh, the tofu eaters or the metropolitan liberal elite or whoever. Yeah, it's easier to point the finger at them and say they're the people stopping uh, these individuals from being deported, not judges. No, because if we say, well, the judges are, are responsible, then uh, that would be a bit embarrassing because then you'd be saying, well, we shouldn't have judges. Mm, that wouldn't go down well with most people. Once again, how do these people become ministers? I know how they become MPs, but how the hell do they become ministers? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.